Well, if we're going into dash land, we're going to go into dash land. That is what I'm talking about. This is the mine, the 69s, they have, it's the first year of that, that, oh, I'm sorry, the second year of that pillow dash, that safety dash. So this is the earlier type. And it's got that whole, like, real, like, Britishy thing. The, the paint is this crinkle finish. You know, makes you think of you know, World War II fighter planes. Their cockpits, they use this sort of anti glare crinkle finish. Very, very, very sort of, you know, little British car thing. Anyway, I just think it's just too cool not to. So instead of having your, you know, ignition over here, your ignition is here. Click, you turn that over, gas goes, dup, 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 and then you go, go worf, 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 just like that. I'm not 100% sure. Lights, I'm assuming, like that. Lights are here. I don't know. I don't know where the choke is supposed to go on this. I have a blank in play here, which I'm assuming is for the overdrive, which my car does not have. I've got some. I've got some leeway about what it is I'm doing in here. <clears throat> But I have this real thing about more functionality. So that's what that's always what I want. I want more functionality. Hang on. Okay, so there's there's the 69 dash. I just they're just odd to me, to my eyes. It's like the the elements don't really balance in the this lack of functionality. I don't know. I just I like things with knobs and buttons and stuff to twist and gauges that go. With the 67 dash, which has the radio up here, that frees this whole thing up. Um, I can I can do all kinds of different stuff because I'm going to be able to add like a clock and other like, you know, sort of Batmobile style stuff. I've got to have the neat stuff. So that is how we are doing it. You know, because I can use this. I mean, I could put heck... I can make a blanking plate here that's an inset that has gauges right there. That'd be cool, wouldn't it, huh? Yeah, just instead of having to worry, there's the, where's the other part of that? Where is that? Is it in? Aha, yeah, there it is. Come here, come here, you. This thing goes right in here. Tucks in under there, kind of tucks in under there like that, but obviously a lot further in. So I can use this one, right? This is this, I can use this later one and put that, because it goes right over, and put that underneath this one. So I can put my clock and all my extra stuff right there. I think that's a great idea. I'm 100% behind that idea. Okay. So maybe that gives us an idea. See, I'll have all this extra space. That'll be cool. That'll be cool. I'll have these extra gauges right where I can see them, radio and all that kind of stuff up here. What if I, no, I was like, get James Bondy and put like a little interactive, you know, put like an iPhone here and have an interactive screen. I don't know. We'll figure it out. So this is great. I'll, and I'll have, I'll have a little side pocket too over here. Like in the 69s, they came with that because this got deleted. So I want them both. Let's do them both. Oh, actually, I want to use the earlier one because it also has another, it has another, it has another one of these lights and I want more functionality. And that one has cut out for the screen, for the radio, for the speaker. And that would require a blanking plate. Hmm. Well, I've run into a conundrum. Okay. I'll have to go and find that piece and drag it down here and see what you can see. I'm inclined to go with this, though I hate the fact of losing another light.
I gotta turn this off all the ways it will start screaming at me. So now let's, let's see if I've got anything different on the light situation. We should be running lights right now. Do you got any running lights going on? We got us some headlights. We got no running lights in the back. Sorry if everybody's getting dizzy. No running lights in the back. That might be down to this bad switch. Come on. Okay, those are just the lower ones again. Wait, so let's try this. Oh, wait. Did not come. We don't have enough power to do both? Okay. Looks like maybe this pack doesn't have enough power to run that. Ha 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 ha. What are we got here? Okay, we're definitely on. Let's see if we got our running lights. Now that switch. New switch is coming tomorrow. Okay. Oh, come on. Uh, tell you, bad switch. Come on. Yes! Yes! But no running lights. What if I've got the wrong bulbs in there? Um, okay. Let's see if the hazard works. Hear something clicking. Okay. That wire's not connected well enough, I guess. Yeah, it looks like that side not connected right. All right. Cool. Let's keep going. Okay, hazards. I like these taillights actually because they remind me, actually the back end of this reminds me of my 56 DeSoto. It, it kind of actually had that kind of thing, 55, 56 DeSoto. Okay, we've got working hazards. Wow, that's crazy. I still have to get in there and clean all those connections, but cycle the power. Sounds good and strong, doesn't it? Sounds good and strong. Do I have these wired backwards? Huh? <laughs> wired backwards. Okay, well, I will obviously need to fix that. Um, okay. I think that's it for now. Oh. Wish I could get these running lights going. Some connections missing. I'll get those though. Peoples of Earth. We have we have brake lights. If you look. Okay. Look in the reflection there. Hmm? I 
I can't believe it. I got freaking brake lights. I'm just stomping on those brakes right now. Can't believe it. Okay, let's see if we get running the lights. Let's see what that does. Hmm. Still got these uppers. They're not doing something. Everything's still working. Come on. You can do it. Come on. I guess I'm drawing too much power. Yeah, I was drawing too much power. Also, these wires are getting loose again. Okay, I'll figure it out. That's fun. Well, we got us an interlude. Got some parts in. Moss Motors. Look at all the treasures. What do we got? Okay, so people talk about the red ones. You're supposed to get the red one, but you know, this is the black one, and they're made with carbon black, and some people say that causes arcing. Um, this is what I could get. Moss doesn't cover them, doesn't carry them. This is standard Lucas, copper, brass, or something. So that's good. We got that. Okay, we got us a new thing. So I'm going to go through... Oh, yeah, I went and bought all new rubber for the tail lights for these things, and then there's a whole kit that I could get that has all that stuff already. I think I've got doubles of everything. These are for the front signals. I gotta pull those off and put that back on. What do I do here? Ah, see, I got the right, because I didn't know this. These, there are two different kinds of rear brake cylinders. Some are um, eight millimeter bores, and the others are 8.75 for the GTs, and they have them so you can't mix them up, because otherwise you'd be in danger. Pardon me, you'd be in danger of having a stronger one and a weaker one. So they have locating pins that only go one way. It's amazing. These are so cheap. 12 bucks or something for this. All the parts already assembled. It's just nuts. So that's another thing. I've got to order some front... I got a, the, the front calipers are junk. I got... Well, the, the calipers are fine, but the pistons are bad. And, and there we go. Another one of those. That's good. What do we got in here? Uh, oh, yeah. It's a flasher that it turns out I actually don't need. But uh, I will probably need it for that one, I think. I hope. Uh, or wait. No, I don't know. It'd be nice to have the part and not need it versus the other way around. What do we got here? Come on. Come on. What's in here? <coughs> Oh, packing peanuts. Right on. I needed some of them. Let's see. What do we got? Okay, these are the little rubber sealer things, rubber donuts that go for the valve cover. Okay, that's what those are. These are, oh, this is a conversion kit from the five plug to the three plug alternator kit. That's what that is. Uh, this is a flasher unit, which a uh, three-pound flasher unit, which, again, I don't need because I got mine working, but it'll come in handy, I'm sure. Lucas, some kind of a thing. Oh, come on. There's my, there's the rotor. Got that going. What we got in here? Oh, these are light bulbs. These are the two little running light light bulbs. Okay, so the question then is, where are my light switches? I'm pretty sure I ordered them. Maybe they're coming in another box. Well, let's hope. Let me know when you're ready. I'm ready. Okay, so here's the thing. Let's do a side by side or above and below stacked reference. So that is where the plane of it is going to be. It's nice because it'll, you know, this big pillow, it's, it's like a good six inches thick. It's, it's a lot of stuff and it's this useless space. You can't do anything with it. It's, you know, I just, I, I'm biting off a bunch of stuff to do here. I don't want to get overwhelmed, but I can't not put it in. 
I mean, the only other argument I can think of is this is Green Bean's original dash, but you know, I mean, it just would be so cool. I don't know, honey, what do you think? Uh, I like the one you're holding. Are you humoring me? No, I, I just, I don't see the point in the giant squishy thing. Okay. All right, thank you. Okay. So the electronics that I need, the switches, the new switches, uh, especially the hazard switch, uh, which I, I, I really super duper duper need the hazard switch. This one is, I can probably make it work, but it's, it's kind of feeling weak. I can't, all, that box has been delayed. I'm not going to get that till Monday. Um, that's true of another package as well. So I'm not going to do anything with the electrics, electronics right now. I'm just going to stop until I get that stuff. I want the electrics to be a hundred percent. That way I can pretty much rule out any of the other stuff. Um, I am going to start going through the engine and I considered in terms of electrics and I considered, you know, starting to chase down the, you know, the sparking issue and stuff like that. I want to remove the question marks. I'm going to, I want to, I'll do all the electrics here. I want to, all the electrics in the whole car finished, no problem. So instead, I'm actually going to go back to what I was doing before I had to stop because I didn't have the right stuff because of the gas tank, which led me to the fuel pump, which led me to the electrical system in the rear of the car, which led me to the mid and then the engine compartment and then all that stuff. Now I'm digging back in here. And I'm talking about getting under here and getting the flashers. All that happened because I didn't have the stuff for the brakes. So I now have the stuff for the back brakes. I have the stuff for the front brakes on order. This car did come with a lot of brand new replacement parts that were new, literal new. But then they sat in a pretty corrosive environment, a moist one or something. And uh, they, they're, you know, I, they're usable, but I would need to rebuild them. Um, and so, but the, but like the pistons for the front brakes are, they're bad. So I had to order some parts. These have everything I need. I can get together on assembling these right now. And in fact, that is what I very much plan on doing. I just got to turn on the bright lights and we're going to make this thing happen. Okay. Brakes. Okay, so this is the passenger side. I haven't touched this this part. This is what both sides look like. Just like this, stripped and rusty and dirty. And then, come over here, and we got cleanliness. And it, uh, if I can hook this here, and it, can't take too much credit for that, but you'll notice it's not grinding, so. See, making progress. Already looking better. So hey, remember that tool that I came up with earlier for helping me do this, the amazing, amazing tool? Well, it turns out I, I actually already owned the, the correct tool. It was right here. I, I had actually bought it in preparation for this very job and then forgotten about it. But there it is, there's the tool. But I'm still using this, this diddly, that, that bird beak vice grip, that bird brick vice grip. That's the one, man. Makes this job easy, and this is gonna make it even easier. I don't know, I'm, I guess I didn't figure I was gonna own the tool, because how, how, I mean, how many times do you need this in your life? But whatever, here we go. Okay, check it out, dude, dudettes. Let's see. So what we're listening for is the sound of the fan. The blowing power. Look at it go! Yeah, I, I blew that out like a lot, a lot, a lot, like a lot, a lot. I can't believe it, the fan works. That's awesome. That's awesome. The freaking fan works. Ah, oh, that's so cool. It was a bad, it was, it was a bad control. This is one from, uh, this is one from the GT. Uh, 
have to clean that one too. Want to see if the horns work? Nope. They're trying to do something, but they're, they're not doing it. Can't believe my fan works. Yes, yes, yes. Fuck. I'll clean that fan, I'll open that back and we'll get it, we'll get it cleaned out. So here's where our noise is coming from. That's the inside of the fan, right uh, there. There's your bushings. I'm not gonna go through polishing those or anything right now. I just, I'm not gonna do that. I just wanted to get in here and put some oil on that. And uh, I, I can hear some of you yelling, why in God's name didn't you take it out of the car first? And I said, well, you see, I assumed that the, um, I assumed the bushes would be caged, uh, but inside, like inside the structure, allowing me to get directly to this and oil it. Um, and then I, of course, you would follow up with, well, why didn't you check the book first? And I said, well, I just went for it. And, uh, you know, and I, you, you of course would say, why? Why didn't you, you know, do that? Because you would have saved yourself the time and the trouble. Why'd you just rip it open? I said, that's the Klein way. You wait until you're ready, you'll never get anything done. Look, now I have to figure out how to put it back together. Anyway, I'm lubricating it. I don't know what lubricant that would have taken. Closest thing I had to hand that I felt like using, uh, this is actually, this is, this is synthetic Hamilton clock oil. So this is from the 50s. Um, actually, and it's synthetic, has this beautiful, I don't know if you can see, this beautiful glass dropper in it. I don't use this for watches, it's easy 60 years old, but it's still oil, and it's synthetic, and it's been sealed, and if it binds up on this thing, I'll just clean it out and redo it. Well, I'm just kind of sitting here daydreaming. I realize that I I haven't really sat in her. Uh, you know, I've, you know, just haven't. It'd be fun. I'm looking forward to it. I'm actually, I'm really enjoying this. I'm having a lot of fun with it. I'm servicing the car. It just so happens that I'm servicing the whole car. But that's cool. It's almost actually one thing. It's kind of like when I was a kid, I used to build models. And but what really bugged me about models and still does is they're not real. They're not real. You can't get them and go somewhere. It's really upsetting. But this, a giant model, and it works, or it will work, but, you know, I'm, I'm pretty excited. I really am. I'm getting excited. Let me cool. I got to pull this. Uh, I got to pull this. Speedo is uh, bezel popped off, but the, uh, the gaskets for these things I don't have. I just realized this thing has, uh, has spi like spider eyes. Look, look at that. Am I right? Well, no. I mean, obviously not, but. We got two there. Huh? I don't know how I feel about being stared at by a spider. Anyway. So that's the next thing. I'm pretty much. I mean, it looks like I'm just drifting back into, you know, cleaning all this and keeping it. Point being that right at this exact minute, I'm not going to open this can of worms. I'm just going to get all this working and all this running. Put this in place. Not necessarily 100% bolted down. But use this the way it is. And I really am thinking there's got to be a way to modify. Because this this thing is like six inches thick. There's got to be a way to modify or cut this out or insert a box or something. There has to be a way to do it. Because I, I actually kind of like this little instrument cluster. Actually, I do. I think it's kind of cool. Um, I don't know. We'll figure it out. I just want to get her running and go for a drive, man. That's what I want.